What up y'all and welcome to the crib. I was not holding my hand outside the door to make it look like there's an entire film crew filming me. There actually is the whole MTV crew here. Say hey Chuck. Hey. You see, that was Chuck. Anyways, welcome to the crib. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Jord. Finally bringing you the video you all have been asking for, the apartment tour. Let's get into it. So here it is, my urban luxury apartment, the day before I move out. <laughs> so here we are at the door, of course, you know. It's a pretty nice door. Uh, the last girl, this broke somehow, I don't know how. Um, got a last there. You walk in to my house, to my apartment, I should say. First thing you see, a couple of my shoes. Got some dress shoes, basketball shoes, running shoes, just casual streetwear shoes. And here is a closet. I don't keep anything in there except a vacuum and some couple more shoes. So here is the half bath. That's me. What's up? I leased this place while I was in Japan because I was moving to a new city. And there, you know, I'll get into it. I'll, I'll tell you guys what's up. Moving on. The laundry room, excuse the mess. I am, like I said, in the middle of moving. Dryer, washer, cool. Now, this is the living room area and the kitchen. Black appliances, <laughs> for the cost, let me tell you, not worth it. I mean, it's a nice kitchen. It's a good size for me, um, good storage space. Keep my veggies over there, my fruit smoothie stuff over there, my frigiator. Y'all know all these rich people and rappers, when you go to their house, they never have food? Except David Dobrik. That man had like stupid Chipotle in his house for his people. That He knows what's up. But for some reason, their fridge is always empty. Just want y'all to know, I have food. So yeah, I pay um, $1,700 for this apartment. Just, I that's like everything just added up, which is an insane price, first of all. Um, so when I was moving here, I decided that I wanted a downtown urban apartment somewhere close to everything um, that I could go. And I was like, you know what? There's this really, this new, these new apartments. I mean, when I came up here, they're being constructed. A few were finished, like stainless steel appliances, a huge island, wood floors. It's just amazing. Let me tell you where they are. They are over there. There they are, right across the street. Obviously, I'm not in them. And here's what happened. So in my lease, my landlord put, once those apartments are done, I'll be able to move over there for the same cost as these apartments. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds great. Bruh. I'm gonna make a whole video on what not to do when you, when you graduate college. Continuing, uh, um, all the stuff, like I said, I'm moving. This is the living room area. Honestly, it's huge. It's gigantic. Welcome to my room, my bed, my desk and workspace, especially since we're working from home now. And this is basically just where I chill out, you know? So I was refraining from buying furniture for the longest time uh, because I was supposed to be moving across the street. And so I didn't. But <laughs> after like a couple months, I was like, okay, I can't do this. So I got a desk, I got the entertainment. I had to at least make my room a home if that makes sense. So I got my camera stuff there, my TV, my PS4. Like I said, I'm packing up a lot of stuff. This, if y'all played this game, you know what it is. This is a throwback. Anyways, um, my bed, I packed most of my bedding up already. So that's just what I need to sleep in. Gonna take this down. My computer area my work laptop that I connect to my monitors, my just PC that I edit with, headphones, um, some art that I really, that I found and I really liked. Uh, can't wait to move into my new place. So this is the walk-in closet here. Let's see, we have, uh, it's really messy. Clothes, a couple weights there. Um, these are my dress work shirts here, international, just garb here, I guess you could say. My Indian kurta, my batik, my dashiki, my other batik, my yukata from Japan, my overcoat, my suits, my ties, undershirts, and just 
other t-shirts down there. Yeah, that's my walk-in closet. For the space, the space is like great. I mean, I could sleep in here if I wanted to. The main bathroom. So, <laughs> so here is the main bathroom. Uh, just my sink, my mirror, <laughs> the toilet. That, look, look, that's just, that, that's a whole story. I'm, I'm gonna do a whole video on that. That was funny. It wasn't intentional though, of course. And then we have my bathroom, my shower here. I don't know what it is, but something about showers makes you sound so good. Singing in there, bro, I feel like, I don't know, Adele or something. This entire apartment is 1200 square feet and honestly, it's in a great location. Restaurants downstairs, right down the street, the best sneaker shop in the city. It's like a block away. So that's why I decided for my first year, you know what? I'm gonna splurge a little bit. First year after college, just to see what it's like. I grew up in the jungle, I grew up in the country, I grew up on a mountain. I wanted to experience what it was like living in one of these downtown apartments. Would I do it again? Nah, probably not, at least not at this price. It was a great experience for my first year after college, but like I said, it's just, you know what? I can do a whole video on that. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, eh if you want to, if you really, really, really liked it, you know? Thanks for watching. Peace.